In this video, how to deploy GreenShot using Microsoft Intune. The first step is download the installer of the app from the official website. Alternatively, you can use the Windows Package Manager to download the installer. The Windows Package Manager is a free and powerful package management solution that comes pre-installed on Windows 11 and newer versions of Windows 10. To download the installer, open PowerShell or Terminal as an administrator and run the following command. As shown in the output, the direct download link can be obtained from the official website and the downloaded file is saved in the downloads folder. The next step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add the app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. The tool converts application installation files into the .intunewin format. Download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. We just need the prep tool, so let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file IntuneWinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Now, rename the downloaded file to setup.exe. Then copy it to the input folder that we've created in the previous steps. In the input folder, create the uninstall script for the app. Enter the following commands. Then save the file with .cmd file extension. For example, I will save it as uninstall.cmd. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the cd command. Now, run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.exe file. And the path of the output folder for the generated.intunewin file. Press Enter to continue. The application is now doing its magic, creating the .intunewin file for us. Once done, go to the output folder to verify that the .intunewin file is being created. Finally, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app.
From the drop-down menu, select the app type as Windows App Win32. For the app package file, select the output in tune file that you created. In the app information page, specify the information as required such as name of the Intune app, a description for the app, and name of the publisher. Optionally, you can upload a logo for the app by selecting an image file. This icon is displayed with the app when users browse through the company portal. We recommend specifying the logo here because it makes easy for users to identify the applications via the logo. In the program page, we need to enter the install and uninstall commands for the app. On the requirements page, you can specify prerequisites that the managed devices must meet before the app is installed, such as the device architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. Detection rules allow you to check if the app is already installed on the managed devices. You can either use a custom detection script or a manually configured detection rule. In this video, we'll use manually configured detection rule type. Select file as the rule type to verify based on file or folder detection. Enter the following information to configure the detection rule. In this page, you can define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed before the app can be deployed. Additionally, you can configure supersedents to directly update or replace an older version of the app. On the assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it. Use the Uninstall Deployment option to remove the app from managed devices. You can select Add All Devices to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. In this page, you can also filter devices for deployment, configure end-user notifications, and app installation deadline. Review your settings and click Create. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To verify the app deployment, log in into a managed device and allow time for the system to sync. You can manually trigger a sync from the Windows settings, the company portal, or by restarting the computer. As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. And the app has been successfully installed automatically. In the Intune portal, you can monitor the deployment status on the overview page where you'll see a graphical breakdown such as devices with successful installations, devices still installing, and any errors encountered. Please note that the deployment status may take some time to appear in the Intune Admin Center. Please be patient. If the app is no longer needed, you can modify its deployment settings in Intune to uninstall it automatically.
Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. Remove the group from the required section and add it to the Uninstall section. Wait for the sync to complete and the app will automatically be removed from target devices. Additionally, when deploying an app with Intune, you can set it to available for enrolled devices, making it easy for users to install through the company portal. On managed devices, users can simply log into the company portal and install the app themselves. As you can see, the app will not be installed automatically. Instead, users have the option to manually install it from the company portal. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in next videos.